Uh, the call ended up happening uh, at 8.30 this morning, and we actually received two different calls uh, for a check the welfare, which is a very typical call of a red Honda being parked in the 1200 block Northwest 3rd with a suspect inside of it. Uh, this individual was uh, asleep, but obviously the uh, citizens calling the call in didn't know whether he was, you know, intoxicated or, or maybe there was something wrong with him medically. But they did mention that they saw a handgun in his, in his lap. So officers did go over there and they proceeded with caution. It was more than one officer that approached the vehicle. They saw the gun. They made contact with the suspect. The suspect who was later identified as 23-year-old Justin Brown who uh, my understanding is that he, he was living in uh, Stillwater until here recently. Um, the suspect refused to comply with the officer's orders. They tried to get him to give up, to uh, comply. Uh, he did not. Instead, he uh, put his vehicle in drive and fled from officers. Initially, the, the uh, pursuit went on the south side of Oklahoma City, but quickly turned around uh, and went north. Uh, the suspect was driving very radically. Uh, luckily, there wasn't a whole lot of traffic. This was uh, just a little bit after rush hour, really. So um, uh, he was all over the place. I mean, that's the best way I can put it. He was hitting curves. Uh, he was zigzagging back and forth. He got up to the speed of about approximately 60 miles an hour. Uh, but during the time that he was doing this, he, he was displaying this weapon, uh, pointing it out the window, uh, shooting up in the air, uh, shooting back at officers. So, so this really changed the game a little bit for us. We have very strict uh, policies when it, uh, in regards to pursuits. You know, we can only have a couple officers involved, a managing supervisor, but this really changed all the rules for us because this was a person who was violent this was a person who was being reckless with a firearm we did not know what his intentions were uh, just before he left the scene he actually made a suicidal statement to the officers something along the lines of you know uh, you're gonna have to kill me or I'm gonna kill myself today something along those lines so uh, obviously a very very uh, scary situation for everybody involved so we continue to pursue um, the pursuit went north to a Penn Square Mall, uh, at which time he went into the parking lot and actually hit at least one vehicle in there, uh, still pointing the gun at police officers, pointing the gun at citizens, and uh, shooting at the officers. At least one of our cars was, was hit, but luckily none of the officers were actually hit themselves. Uh, at this point, it was very important for the officers to keep him out of the mall. And, and really that was the main concern is to not allow this guy to go mobile by foot and get into either the mall or one of the 15 stores that is along that boulevard just east of the mall. So um, we did not allow him to do that, but honestly we were prepared to do whatever it took to keep him from going in there because we feared that he was going, going to go in there to uh, hurt somebody, to kill somebody and, and maybe kill himself. Uh, he continued on east and uh, ended up wrecking out uh, in front of a subway in, uh, into a, a, a container. The uh, airbag deployed uh, allowed the officers enough time so they can close in on the suspect and uh, get him into custody. Uh, so at this point, this person is facing various charges and it is an open investigation. Uh, he is uh, facing at the very least assault with a deadly weapon, multiple counts, pointing a firearm at another, multiple counts, and felony attempting to elude. Um, we are asking for the public, for anybody who may have seen, may have been the victim of uh, one of these crimes, either today or before, to call the homicide tip line at 297-1200.